Well, good day viewers. Today we are working on my truck. Not really working on it, experimenting. It's a 22 F-150 Lightning. Got about 26,000 kilometers on the clock. No issues so far. I've never been to a gas station yet. Well, other than to buy gas for the lawnmower. Let's see. Door ajar. Yeah, 25,600 kilometers. I recently purchased access to FDRS uh, Ford diagnostic software and I've got a few more hours I wanted to try it out on this truck and then compare it to the ThinkDiag scan tool app that works with my smartphone. So we're going to hook up to this. I got the IDS, or sorry, I've got the uh, VCM2 connected to my laptop here. So we're going to fire up the software. Well, one thing I do note is this FDRS software is sure slow to boot up. I guess that increases the billable hours at the dealership. So I'm going to log in to my account. It doesn't, I don't think it saves the password in here. Oh, maybe it did. Oh yeah, it did. Well, that is nice. Read VIN from vehicle. Like I said, I was working on that Ford Ranger today, today and yesterday. So there is my VIN. Let's click go. And I'm still learning this software, so it's not extremely intuitive, but it's not that bad. Downloading vehicle information. I'm just curious about how many computers I can get into with this versus the ThinkDiag software that works with my smartphone. Probably have a couple of minor codes. I think one of my uh, rear sensors has got a burnt LED in it. So far I haven't had any glitches with my truck other than the tail light on the back tailgate was replaced under warranty. Certainly haven't had any cam timing codes or misfire codes or catalyst efficiency codes or EVAP system codes. And like I said, I haven't been to a gas station yet. Other than to buy gas for the lawnmower. The software is not fast. I'll pick up when we get it loaded. So here's the loading screen and it shows all the modules that it pulled and anything in orange has a code in it so there's a code in the sync module code in the camera rear module they may not have cleared the code from changing the tail light and the code in the secondary onboard diagnostic control module C trailer module and vehicle dynamics control module Let's see how many modules there are one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. A ton. Hmm. I wonder if there's a good way to get a topology map here. Let's click continue and see. Well, there we go. There's the topology map. That is cool. Medium speed can 2, medium speed can 1, high speed can 4, 3, 2. Well, so I'm going to count these. So according to my count, 50 controllers. Let's do a self-test and see. I think we're, which module are we currently in right now? wonder what it does if we click run network test run ne rerun network test okay that's already run what's this option over here switch to list view switched oh cool I like the topology map view better myself personally so let's see what we got in here camera module 
got to be a way to pull all the codes. I'm sure that we can do a self-test and run it on multiple modules. Yes, we can. So up to five modules, it says. So let's click the ones that are highlighted because there's no point scanning the ones that aren't highlighted. Four, five. I think there was other ones too. No, that's it. Just five modules. So let's run the test. I have the vehicle on, obviously. So I'll pick up when I get to the end of this scan. Well, it's interesting. It says the vehicle must not be running. The vehicle is not moving. The phone call is no phone call is active. So I got to answer these disclaimers. One of the tests said the vehicle must not be running. Well, define running on an EV. And you got to scroll down here to see the rest of it before you can continue. I certainly have the vehicle in the on mode. must not be moving. Well, it's not moving. I think the ThinkDiag software got into like 25 modules, so that's about 50% of the controllers. So invalid data received from vehicle dynamics, invalid data from body control, driver's side LED, that one I knew about. So there's some kind of a bulletin on that by the looks of it. Various Ford and Lincoln vehicles, drivers, yeah. Lost communication with battery charger control module, lost communication with body control module, right rear height sensor. That's kind of nice. It tells you how many days ago. Time since code set hours, minutes, and seconds. It's about time when you got that kind of data. So this one was 19 days ago. This one was 88 days. And I can't read that. That's so tiny. Was that eight days? Eight days, 23 hours, 41 minutes. Hmm, that's cool. Let's, let's clear and retest. DTCs and all associated are supposed to be cleared. Yes, continue. Now again, define running pick up when we get to the end of this. The only code that reset was the driver's side LED and it appears to be component or system operation obstructed or blocked. It appears to be that there's a, a star on there, special service message. So I'm going to look into that but nevertheless let's click out of the self-test Go back to that screen. Well, it's populated everything in green now except for the camera module. Well, no, that camera module is still... Well, it's green, but it's going to set a fault code. So each module... Uh, what we have? What, what's there for a PCM? Powertrain control module. I guess it still has a powertrain of sorts. ABS. Cam cruise control camera, image processing, lighting driver. Wow, there's like a lot of control modules. So let's fire up the uh, ThinkDiag tool. 
So I stand corrected. I counted wrong the first time. There's 47 controllers that responded. So we're going to fire up the ThinkDiag app on my smartphone and we're going to connect this Bluetooth dongle to the DLC under the dash and I'll use a screen recorder app to record the software and see how many controllers it gets into. Okay, so I'm going to start this. I've got a number of scanner apps on my phone, but this ThinkDiag app seems to be one of the better ones. So I've got the Bluetooth dongle plugged in and it should VIN decode. The only code it's left in is in the uh, camera module. So it did decode the VIN. It is on. Loading vehicle data, please wait. Okay, so we were finally connected. I had some issues with my phone being connected to the Wi-Fi in the truck. So I'm connected to the internet now and I'm going to click on health reports. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 computers and one DTC in the camera module rear. Well, that's a lot less than the 47 that the Ford software got into. I'm not sure what's missing. I have to go look through this list to see what is missing. <coughs> Click on report and it will generate a report and it should have that code in the camera module. driver's side LED. If I click on this it should pull it up. B15 Edward 1-97-8F driver's side LED continuous memory. The rest are all green and clean. Mind you I did clear the codes out of some of the modules. Well that's kind of interesting. By far this uh, ThinkDiag software seems to be the most capable phone-based scan tool that I've found so far. Unless somebody knows of a better one, please let me know. It do bi-directional testing as well. Although I have found some glitches in it, but that's to be expected. Sometimes the factory software has glitches. Camera. Read fault code, module information, special functions, programmable module installation. I notice they're listed in alphabetical order. See, there is no PCM here. Right off the bat, I don't see a PCM. PSCM, power steering, pedestrian alert control module, but no actual PCM where it was listed on the Ford software. So, that's it for now. Comments, questions, I'll try and answer them. Thanks for watching.